Let's science this. I'm on it. Come discover the world around yeah. us. We'll observe nature's wonders. <laughs> Using science and imagination. We'll experiment and build creations. Darwin and Or should I say, hearing that? <laughs> Isn't it great? Why do different objects make different sounds? Well, that's because it depends on what the object's made of. Hard, soft, solid, or hollow. Wow, that was an interesting sound. That was an interesting sound. Do it again, please, Newts. Hmm. The sound seems to come from the way the wire moves. I've got a great idea. I'm going to get lots of different objects together and make something. been a bit loud. <laughs> Sorry, Newts, but I'm trying to read this book and your drumming makes it hard for me to concentrate. Oh, I am so sorry, darling. It's okay, Newts, but how about I help you set up your drum kit down in the garden shed? That's a great idea. Now you can make as much noise as you like, Newts. Thanks, darling. will block most of the sound. <laughs> and the further away I go, the quieter it gets. I wonder if Newt's is thirsty too. Newt's, would you like some water? Newt's! She can't hear me calling. For the same reason, I can't hear her drumming. Uh, uh. Hey, darling. My drumming's not too loud, is it? No. With the shed door closed and you being further away, it's not loud at all. Great. Would you like a glass of water? Thanks. I'm really thirsty. <laughs> Newt, do you want pickle with your cheese? She still can't hear me. <laughs> you 
Your drumming's getting really good, Newts. Are you hungry? Really hungry. Thank you. Mmm. Darwin, this is my favourite. Cheese and pickle. Or as I like to call it, chickle. <laughs> <laughs> some drumming, so I bought my guitar over for a sing-along. A wire-tap. Newts will love that. The drums are this way. Uh, uh, uh. We put the drums in the shed so it's not so noisy in the treehouse. Clever idea. Yeah. Newts, you have a visitor. Oh, kia ora, Henny. Do you like my drums? You're so clever, Newt's making your own drum kit. I brought my guitar so we can play music together. That sounds beautiful. And look, Tetero, the sound is vibrating along the strings. What does vibrating mean? When something shakes quickly, like this guitar string, the sound vibrates the wire and travels along it. That's how we hear. The sound makes the ear vibrate, just like my fingers make the strings vibrate. Look, Titero, I'm vibrating too! <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Have fun, you two. I'm going to finish my book. Call me when you're ready to perform. <sighs> <sighs> Going up and down to talk to newts is hard work. There must be a better way. Let's science it. When sound travels through the air, it gets quieter as you move further away. And when you shut a door, it gets quieter too. So I could hardly hear newts drumming and she could not hear me calling to her. But I also learned that sound can vibrate along a thin wire like Henny's guitar, which gives me an idea. Mm, hey Henny, we need to perform a song that Darwin will like. Hmm. I know. Why don't we write our own song for Darwin? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Pull the string tight! Hmm. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Tahirua Toru. Can you hear me? Over. I can hear you. Over. And it's amazing! Over! Presenting my 10-string sound conductor device! Over! What a great invention! Over! How does it work? Over! My voice vibrates along the string so you can hear me at the other end without me having to shout! Over! And the sound vibrates back along the string so you can also hear me! Over! Exactly! Call me when you're ready to perform! Over! Over and out for now! Over! Hmm. Hello? Kia ora. One, two, three, four! Testing, testing, one, two, three! One, two, three! Can you hear us sing ABC? ABC! Do you hear the sound when I sing? Where to? Wonderful! 
over. Now it's Henny. That was so much fun. Yes, and you two sounded 